Keep calm and pray the Psalms for the ninth Sunday after Pentecost, the beginning of the fifth week of Apostles' Tide. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. The rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. From the intro it or the entrance psalm for the ninth Sunday after Pentecost, or proper eleven if you're following along in that in that manner, is taken from Psalm 147, verses seven through eleven. The antiphon is from a different psalm, Psalm 145, verse 16, which Martin Luther used for his, uh, his table prayer, his, his asking for grace at meals, appropriately enough for the Sunday of the feeding of 5,000, don't you think? You opened your hand, you satisfy the desire of every living thing. Sing to the Lord with thanksgiving, make melody to our God on the lyre, he covers the heavens with clouds. He prepares rain for the earth. He makes grass grow on the hills. He gives to the beasts their food and to the young ravens that cry. His delight is not in the strength of the horse, nor his pleasure in the legs of a man. But the Lord takes pleasure in those who fear him, in those whose hope is in his steadfast love. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You open your hand. You satisfy the desire of every living thing. We say the Catechism. You shall have no other gods. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Honor your father and your mother. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife or his manservant or maidservant, his ox or donkey or anything that belongs to your neighbor. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty, and thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, though we do not deserve your goodness, still you provide for all our needs of body and soul. Grant us your Holy Spirit that we may acknowledge your gifts, give thanks for all your benefits, and serve you in willing obedience. To Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.
Luther's evening prayer. I thank you, my heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day. And I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong, and graciously keep me this night. For in your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Amen. You have a good night.